this is rolling now, so be careful what you say. Yeah, this is my friend. But to say someone's governor, that means like they own you, they tell you what to do, no one tells me what to do. Yeah, but he's a bit pally with it, cleverly like this, I suppose. Hey, he is pally, yeah. That's yeah. his job. He's got to be pally with everybody, Annie. But if you keep throwing out these kind of insults, my my left hand is going to get pally with your chin. Fair enough. Okay, go. Not going to argue. Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, Tony Bellew here at Wembley Arena. Yeah. Working for Sky tonight. I am. And your hair's looking very nice again. Thank you very much, Coogan. I'm happy you keep picking up on me here. Are you jealous? I mean, yours is my, going a bit thin on the back. My, I, I my hair, hair is not going thin. I'm not receding. I'm going a bit grey, but that's about so, it. No, no, you're not going grey, son. It's receding the back, trust me. I can it's not it. receding. I can see a bit of a monkey's ass on the back of your head. Honest to God. No, no jokes. How are you, Tony? I'm okay, mate. How's it going? What? I Excuse seen you my friend. in Vegas. Yeah. Vegas was, uh, was flying high, in it? Who? He was flying high in Vegas. Yeah. DJ Flores, David Hay. Yeah, what did you think about... He was like, uh, he was like big pimping in Vegas, wasn't he? Yeah, we had a couple of nights out with him. They're good boys. PJ Flores, I met him for the first time. He seems quite nice. Yeah, he seems like a really, really nice guy, yeah. Yeah, he does. Uh, but you obviously said on Twitter, that's, you, you feel he brings nothing to the table. I want somebody he brings to the table besides being a, a great TV pundit. It'd be a great fight. Yeah, but what does it bring to I the table? I can understand what you mean by that. Yeah, okay. You're just chasing a world title. Exactly. He doesn't have a world title, exactly. so I can see where you're going with that. Exactly. And there's nothing personal between us, so, you know. Yeah. It, it, it basically means nothing. Yeah. Although, Did you blame I, him? I will say, Did you he blame is him? a good fight. Well, I, I don't understand actually why he wants to fight me. Because I'm pretty sure he could get a world title fight if he really, really wanted to. Albeit, being the money wouldn't be great for him and he'd be going to the guy's backyard. So, or, 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 you know, his goal should be chasing world champions like mine is. Well, he said on Twitter it is. So, I don't understand why isn't he chasing them? Because I'm pretty sure he could get a world title fight if he wanted to. Mm. Well, actually, I'm certain he could. Listen, these guys are looking for people to fight. I could fight Hook tomorrow. I could fight Hook. I could fight Hook or Hernandez to Hook or Hernandez tomorrow. I really could. That's a fact. Them fights are easy to make. I go to Eddie, Eddie speaks to Callum and he says, like, fight's done. I've seen Calais tonight. He just says, when are we doing Hook? I said, when I beat the Welsh guy up. Well, forget about Hook for the minute, because we want to see you and Nathan cleverly. Yeah. So... This is what I'm saying. Okay. It, this, it's about what people want to see. Yeah. No one wants to see me v BJ Flores. Not unless you're watching NBC in America wants to see that so people want to see me be the, be the clown right what on earth is going on why is it taking so long like well you're asking the wrong person no but from no, your no, point listen, of view what's going on from my point of yeah. view a contract said Sheffield on it it was sent back in, in a couple right. of hours the contract comes and says Liverpool on it I'm still waiting well, you, you were obviously that, happy to fight. You were that, both happy to fight in that's Sheffield. That's the top and bottom of it. Right, but you were both happy to fight in Sheffield, correct? I'm happy to fight anywhere. Like I said, you think I'm joking when I say I will go to Wales and you can do it in your living room. I ain't playing. I'm, I'm deadly serious. But the fact remains that he can't start out a phone box in Wales and we do good numbers in Liverpool. I mean, that's just a, that's a fact. I do good numbers in Liverpool. I, I, once again, I don't know why, because I've had some, I've had a couple of stinker fights in the pool, but on the majority, I'm quite entertained in the pool. It's usually good to come and watch. You know, I've been knocked down, I get up, I win by knockout. Last two fights in the pool, I've won both by knockout. I've been against good solid cruiserweights, cruiserweights. Whereas on the other hand, he has four probably two light heavyweights on the bounce. One looked like a fat carpenter, the last one. Sorry, a fat kebab owner, kebab shop owner. And the, the, the first guy, uh, uh, let's not even talk about him because he, he was, he'd been stopped by a super middleweight. So, you know, here's me, I'm fighting guys who have fought European champions, top Russians, and never been stopped. I'm fighting a guy who's fought for two world titles in Valery Brudov, get very rarely get stopped. Had never been knocked out. Valery Brudov had never been 10 counted in his life. Valery Brudov had been stopped on a stool on two occasions. Off a lobby, and I think it was Guillermo Jones to do the one. Ain't nobody stopped Valerie Brudov the way I stopped him. Also, Dos Santos hadn't even been on the floor. I put him out for the 10 count. So, you know, we've got to put things into perspective. 
and you know, if we put things into perspective and we're just telling the truth, he's fought a kebab shop owner, that last one, and he's fought a guy who's been stopped off a super middleweight. So I'm just putting things in perspective, that's all I'm doing. Do you know we've had conversations in your last two fights about your approach to the build up to fights yeah. and how you've got a sort of different approach or different attitude? This goes out the window when you're in the Cleverly fight, surely though, you're not going to be this... Of course it does, of course it does. Because this is like a personal thing. It, does, it seems does. a personal thing, of is it? Of course it's personal. Of course. It goes, like, listen, the last two guys I've boxed, I've shook hands with them at a weigh-in. I've shook hands with them after press conferences. He shakes hands with me, it's an insult. It's as simple as that. There's no friendliness about this. Once the fight's over, people are asking me, and I, and I can't stress this enough, Everybody, is this real? Is it yeah, just for two? I've been asked Listen, it. look, look that. I'm looking straight at the camera. There's nothing false about this. I despise this guy. I can't stand him. He's a fraud. He's everything that's wrong with boxing. It's as simple as that. I can't stand him. There'll be no embrace after the fight. There'll be no shaking hands after the fight. There'll be I'm going to smash you, and then gonna, and then I'm going to walk away from you. It's as simple as that. A lot of people have actually asked me about like the rivalry between people that don't know you. And I can 100% confirm that, this is what I say to them, that I know that it's a genuine rivalry. Yeah, he, it's not he, he, I, I, I'm happy to say it's more one-sided, yeah, because he's got no genuine reason to despise me. Or Listen, I've got more than enough reasons to dislike him. Ultimately, the one that really sends me crazy about him is what he done after the first fight that press conference, what he said in the after fight press conference. I mean, but then when I think about that, and then I think about him wearing bandanas and stuff like that, and coming to the ring to that like cheesy music, then you know, it just he annoys me, and then I think back to that press conference and he sends me crazy. So, I can just get wild with thinking about him now, to be honest with you. I could just flip at any moment. How about the winner of you and uh, Cleverly fight the winner of Hook and Nelson? You're laughing real bad behind that camera, Coops. Why are you laughing? He's <laughs> over there. He's over there. Now, it's weird to me was, he just said to me before, Tone, I'm coming out for the dance-off just once. I ain't coming anywhere near you. I want nothing to do with you. Johnny's me, mate. But, listen, you know, all jokes aside, I'm chasing world titles. So, you know, that's all, right. all it's about. Well, listen, when it's actually announced, which I hope to be... Soon. Well, ask, ask your friend. Huh? Ask your friend, yeah, he'll know when. Yeah, but he's a bit, you know. He's a bit what? He like, he answers it, but not really. I asked him about it tonight, but Listen, I didn't get an answer about it. He, he must be the only man you can video, only promoter you video, and he answers every single question. Yeah, I know, but this is a bit different because... No, it's not. He answers everything. You've got to get... Listen, you've got well, to... All right, this is what you told me tonight, right? Okay. November 29th, possibility, a possibility for 22nd, depending on certain things. Okay. Uh, that's what he said, but we're just still waiting because... That's as honest as he can be. Yeah. That, listen, that's all I know. That's all I know. I don't know any more or any less than you, so... Well, actually, I learned something new tonight. You said possibly 22nd, so you just told That's what me. he said in the interview. Oh, there you go. He just, you just but he said likely to be in the 29th, but they've also looking, looked at the 22nd. So I don't know how deep that is. Okay. All right, well, listen, Tony Bellew, that's a brilliant tie you have on. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? The same one. Um, all right. Well, you got the same one? Yeah, exactly the same one. Where the hell do you wear a tie? <laughs> you don't know what I do on a Sunday, do you? I reckon you just you, you walk around naked with just a tie on in the house. That's my idea. I mean, I can't picture you coming out in a damn suit and a tie. So I reckon you just put a tie on with nothing else on. I'm gonna, I'm and gonna save ladies' food with just a tie on. Are you on WhatsApp? I am. I'm gonna send you a WhatsApp picture tonight. Uh, listen, I, I don't want to see you naked with just a tie on, mate. Okay, listen, you've got a missus at home, and, and I don't need your the picture of you before I go to sleep naked with a tie on. Right. Yeah, I don't need that in my life. All okay, right. my, my life's going smooth at the moment, and I'm enjoying it. Alright, listen, I don't want to take too much time because Sky will get the ump because they've embroidered you tonight. Sky looking at you? No, they can't say anything anyway. Well, can't they? Well, they can, but they don't. Oh, 
Because they're love, time now, lovely are we? people. Because they're nice people, that's why. Okay. I'm not doing any harm to the sport. Oh, I'm no, just, so I'm I've just the remembered, sport. I've just remembered. You've got your own show now, haven't you? Oh, that big time. Okay, big time. No problem. Cassius and Hilda. Is it is what it is. It does what it says on the tin, mate. It is what it is. It does what it says on the tin. Thanks for your support anyway. Fantastic. It does what it says on the tin. I love you, Coogs, you know that. I know. All right. You still look like the Kung Fu Panda though. Thank you very much. That's a good compliment. Oh. Coogan Cassius, Tony Bellew, IFL TV. Thank you very much.